Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC again. Uh, it's a Saturday evening. Uh, we, we were, uh, it's been a wild couple of days here in the Cincinnati area, but uh, we survived long enough for this to arrive. And I would be lying to you if I said this weighed less than 15 pounds. So, this package comes to us by way of uh, Mr. Justin uh, uh, Malone of White Mountain Knives. Use code TRISTATE10 at checkout at whitemountainknives.com and you will get 10% off. I don't get paid, it's just nice. Uh, you know what I mean? It's a nice thing. So, this is something a little different. Um, I'm a folder guy. I'm a single blade, single edged folder guy. Um, maybe a few automatics, a few OTFs thrown in there, but for the most part, yeah, that's, that's what I do. That's what I love. That's why... I, I make a fart load of videos about that particular kind of knife. But this, we need a different kind of knife to unbox it. This is my Victorinox Swiss Champ. I have had it since I was in the seventh grade. That was a long time ago. Um, uh, uh, a long, um, 12 years, 13, 12, 10, graduated 11 years ago. So five years prior. So 15, 16 years ago, I bought this Swiss Champ 16 years ago. The corkscrew's seen better days. It's kind of all bent out of shape. Uh, I do have the toothpick and the pen, but the tweezers. Oh, the tweezers. Everything's here. I forgot I bought new tweezers. So believe it or not, all the little dingleberries are still attached to this thing 16 years later. I did lose the tweezers at some point. You always lose the tweezers. But I love my Swiss Champ. It is my go-to multi-tool, mainly because of these right here. Yeah. The pliers. We got a magnifying glass. If you want to get weird, go Sherlock Holmes on somebody. We got that. I love this thing. I've used it to death. And it's really no worse for wear for 16 years of use and abuse. But I thought it was time not to retire this, but to... to it, it's earned a baby brother, shall we say. Or a bigger brother? I'm not sure. So we're going to use the good old Swiss champ here to open up this package. This is something I've been kicking around. I've wanted, I, I've not that I've wanted, but I've kind of needed for a long time, um, is a new multi-tool. And I saw this one. How does it weigh? Look how small it is. Listen to this. Again? This tiny little box, I kid you not, weighs five pounds. Tactical peanuts per use. We're gonna actually close that before we do this. Yikes. So this is a kind of Leatherman style multi-tool from Victorinox. It's called the Swiss Tool Spirit X Plus, which is a mouthful. I, uh, I they could have done better with the naming scheme as far as I'm concerned. There's your, uh, there's your model number. Focus up, there you go. Beautiful. Um, and apparently it comes with this thing and these things. So that's kind of insane. And it comes with a ratchet? I we're, That explains why it weighs so much, but we're just going to open her up. It's been a... It has been... This was the last Swiss Army knife I bought. 15, 16 years. So it's been a long time. I'm really excited. So let's put the old champ away. Honestly, I love this knife. The only issue with it is look how big it is. It's not exactly an ergonomic masterpiece. So, let's slip side, slip slide this thing open here. I cannot believe how heavy this little package is. Oh my god, and it all comes in. You're kidding me. Who's putting this on their belt? <laughs> this is massive. Look how, okay. Look. Do I have a tape measure in here? That's nonsense. Oh, I have a little me a little measuring tape here. Let's measure the thickness here down here at the bottom. Because this is outrageous. Uh, inches. We're looking at a good one and three quarter inches thick. Are we seeing that? That's obscene. And it is four and a quarter inches tall. <laughs> and it weighs... <laughs> 
It weighs three pounds. <laughs> we got some paperwork. Move that stuff to the side here. That's obscenely massive. Okay. All right. We got the, the the good old accordion of, of paperwork here. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna figure it out as we go. We don't need we don't need instructions here. It's not the kind of channel I run. So it comes in this nice thing. Got a nice little metal shield, Victorinox shield on there. Velcro sheath, if you will. So here's this monstrosity. This is why I bought it. And honestly, this by itself weighs a, a metric ton. Stamped with Victorinox, a fingerprint magnet, <laughs> no questions asked. Is there some kind, there is, there's some kind of locking mechanism involved here. Um, okay. By the way, I don't own, I have never owned a legitimate multi-tool like this. I've only ever had this or something similar to it. So this is the first kind of Leatherman style multi-tool I've, I've ever owned. Um, I've ever, you know, picked up for myself. I have no idea how this works. Please don't make fun of me, or do make fun of me. So this is the main reason I bought it. A little gritty, opening that up. A good pair of pliers, man. A good pair of pliers you can throw in your pocket um, is priceless, as far as I'm concerned. That's why I loved, you know, these little guys do the job for little stuff around the house and around the car. But look at the <laughs> look at the size difference. It was time for an upgrade. You know what I mean? And now that is lubed up to perfection frictionless whoop <laughs> frictionless beautiful got the wire cutters and a wire stripper and a crimper and all that good stuff built in you just can't you can't put a price on a good pair of pliers man this action however is it, it wants it's putting up a fight but it locks into place with a nice thwack did you guys hear that Big fan. So now I gotta figure out how the hell to get all these tools out. I just, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, okay, let's just start. Okay, we have this. I don't know what that is. Got a little hooky thingy, and uh, is it? Oh, this is the awl. Okay, yeah, sure. I got one of those. It's for like poking a hole in leather. Uh, skinny as I am, I use this tool all the time on my Swiss Champ. Um, I use it to add an additional hole onto my leather belts. <laughs> oh, okay, so it locks open. Very nice, and then you pull this down. Yep, and that unlocks it. So here's your unlocking mechanism right here. These little pulley thingies. Please don't laugh at me. Uh, we got a big old chunk and bottle opener. Again, with the little notchy deal. I'm not sure what this is all about. Uh, but a bottle opener, flathead screwdriver. You gotta have it. Beautiful. Nice noises, by the way. What is this guy? Just just another... Oh, this is like a chisel. This is legit a chisel. Can you guys see that? See the edge on that? Yes, that is not playing around. And some kind of... It's a wire stripper kind of deal. Right here, along the bottom. Damn, dude, Jesus. That is violent. That, honestly, will get a lot of use right there. Stripping wires, man. I am yet to find the perfect tool for that job. Uh, is this the actual knife? Oh yeah, and there's the actual knife blade in their, what do they call it? Swiss stainless, if you will. Victorinox Swiss made stainless, lubed up. Just thoroughly lubed, they thoroughly lubricated. Beautiful, again, lock up is kind of insane. I'm kind of impressed by that. Nice blade. What is this back here? Nothing? Is this nothing? I don't understand, but that's okay. We're going to the other side now. That's everything on this side. One, two, three, four. E Ooh, no, I missed one. There's this. The wood saw, dude. I've, <laughs> I literally have used the wood saw on my Swiss Champ to, to like trim trees in the backyard. I'm not kidding. In a pinch, I gotta tell you, it works a treat. I have also probably the worst injuries, flesh wounds in my entire life, came from this tool right here. <laughs> it's just the angriest tool ever ever devised by man. If you're not paying attention, it will destroy you. 
All right, other side we have the nail file and the steel uh, file, the steel saw with the little baby teeth. Honestly, works great for like PVC, um, copper, softer metal, stuff like that. Nice, great file. It, people say, you know, what's a Swiss Army knife is, is like a, a, a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Screw that, dude. Sometimes, most times, all I need is a Swiss Army knife, and I'm fine. We got the Phillips head. Also, one of my most used tools on the champ. A good Phillips head, man. Can't put a price on it. You simply cannot put a price on that. What is this little guy? Oh, this is the uh, can opener. Ow, very sharp. Uh, the can opener, ironically enough, I use that all the time as well. Sometimes I'm just too lazy to get the actual can opener. Well, for a long time, our can opener was broken, like our crank, clamp and crank deal in the kitchen. So I used my I used my Swiss champ to open everything. If I was making chili, I would open like six cans of beans and tomatoes and shit with the can opener on my Swiss champ. So it works really well. Uh, and it, they, you know, it's lasted 16 years. So uh, what else we got? Little, little skinnier flathead deal. Beautiful, lovely. The locking mechanism here is very nice, honestly. I didn't, I, did, I had no idea this locked. I just bought it because it was cool. And the scissors, dude. Everybody needs a, a tiny pair of, of Swiss scissors laying around. Also one of my most used tools. Um, what is this last thing and why can't I get it out? What is this? Oh. Oh, I'm st ignore me. It was the scissors again. Forgot the scissors is made out of two pieces. So there's the actual multi-tool. And this by itself, I think well, these are like 120 bucks or less on Amazon and White Mountain Knives if you use the discount code, you know, 108 bucks, something like that. Incredible. Like really well made. I'm pumped about that. It's just something I've needed for so long. Um, but then there's a lot more in here. So we have one tool kit, bit, kit, tool bit, bit kit. Oh my God, it comes with Torx bits. Coded Torx bits. This is a T10. Let's zoom you all the way in here. We have a T10. That doesn't do me much good as a knife guy. And a T12, T15. Okay. A big old chunk in Phillips head for no apparent reason. A little baby dinky one, little baby dinky boy, Phillips head. We have some hex bits. We have a, um, there's no size marking. So that's helpful, no idea. And we have a, also SW3, SW4. Sorry, that's the size marking. And it all comes in this nice little thing and there's this little, holy shit, how do I get it off? Mom? Dad? Oh, there we go. Comes with a nice th uh, thingamajig. Uh, I'm not sure what... You just... you Does it ratchet? You're kidding me. Are we for real? No way does this ratchet. It feels like it wants to. No, okay, it doesn't. But still, it's a dude. For a little kind of, for fuck's sake, go back in there, little bitch. Thank you. If you just need a little extra torque in your life, problem solved. And this all goes back into this little thing, Mahooch here. I, pff, I honestly did not know any of this came with. <laughs> oh yeah, and we have the tiny little glasses screwdriver. Don't sleep on this, man. Don't sleep on this tool. And a corkscrew, but oh, I found out what this stuff's for. This stuff here, I think. Or I'm stupid. Yep. There you go. Who are these people? Wizards? Who thought of this? This is nicer than any actual wine bottle opener I have in my house. <laughs> oh, you gotta love the Swiss. Um, so there's that, and that's it. Okay, cool. And it all just fits nicely and neatly back into this ridiculous holster. I kind of wish it came with a holster just for the multi-tool, but whatever, you know. 
hey, worth it. Should we cut something? We should do a cut test. It's been a long time since I've handled a factory fresh Victorinox blade. Full flat grind in God knows what steel. One, 1. 1.3, 1. 1.4, it's basically like pie is what the steel's called. Let's give her a little cut test here. Let me zoom you on out. Let's give her a shot. It's money, dude. It's money. In a pinch, it's cash money. And dude, I mean, come on. It's like one of like 20,000 tools on this thing, but it works so well. Gets the job done, man. A little toothy. You know, not a perfect factory edge, but shit, man. No one's gonna, no one's gonna, you're not getting arrested for this. You know what I mean? No matter where you live. You're, you're just not. <laughs> you're just not. Maybe. Maybe you are. I don't know. God knows what happens these days. I am so impressed by that, dude. I Again, I, I'll probably end up buying a little carrier holder just for the multi-tool part of it, but this whole package, dude, throw it in the center console in the car... <laughs> You're good to go. I still can't get over how, how heavy that is. <laughs> God bless the Swiss. That's it. That is, I already forget what it's called. That is the Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit X Plus Multi Uber Jumbo with Bit Wrench and Ratchet. Wait a minute. This is the. Since 1884, baby. Uh, which one is this? There's two different model numbers. I guess we have the one without the ratchet, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I'm happy. I needed a new multi-tool. I didn't need one, but it's just nice to have something this substantial and useful. This little kind of toolkit. Toss it in your pocket when you're working around the house. Just laying around, man. I'm all about it. So that's it. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description to White Mountain Knives where you can pick this thing up. Uh, but this is not the review, just kind of a first impressions and unboxing. I don't know, I might do a full re review on this. I'm not sure yet. We'll see, you know. It is just a multi-tool after all, but um, yeah, that's it for me. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.